Delegate Chuck Hurst is our guest. He joins us via telephone from the Capitol. Good morning, Chuck. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine, Rob and uh, Bill and uh, uh, John. Shoot, I forgot, <laughs> forgot who the other who the other is. New, York, New York Times bestselling author John Gilstrap. <laughs> But I only go by John. I'm sorry. (laughs) Yes. Uh, uh, By the way, Chuck is the chairman of Natural Resources. He serves on energy and manufacturing, finance, jails and prisons, and workforce development, too. Uh, Chuck, uh, let me ask you the first Brad Knoll question I can get out here before it it goes any further, and that is any progress in getting a uh, a public access rifle range in Berkeley County? I, I believe we're making very good headway there right now. Um... I'm I'm staying I'm staying on 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 keeping I'm 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 keeping the the director's feet to the fire on it so to speak I guess so uh, I think we're going to get there and uh, I don't know maybe maybe sometime by this summer hopefully if we're lucky we'll be be able to get an announcement or something maybe oh that means you must be making decent progress if you have confidence that that could happen yeah I I I, I feel we're heading in the right direction yes I absolutely do. Are most of the delegation out of the Eastern Panhandle ready to vote for that bill with you? Well, it, it won't require a bill. It's just DNR. D, DNR can do it. Oh, it, nice. It, it won't require any legislation. Well, then, heck, let's just get that ball rolling, Chuck. <laughs> well, I, that's what I've been working on. I, my first conversation started my very first uh, my very first session. Uh, so uh, that that was one evening at, at the uh, coal association and. Uh, I sat down at the table there uh, to have a meal, and uh, I happened to sit down beside Director McDaniels at the time. So as the conversation, as, as I learned who I was sitting by and we started talking, I, I brought up the Sleepy Creek Range, and, uh, and it's been going in earnest since then. Well, well, that's good, and I hope I want Brad to be happy here. By the way, so I, 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 do, I do too. I I just can't wait to see his big, big dreaming smile when <laughs> when we announce there's going to be a shooting range. Because you know, you know, Brad can get a little cranky every now and then about that range, don't you? Uh, hey, I want to ask you something about um, moving. Uh, there's, there's a bill I saw that it was pending, and it had to do with making the first day of. Uh, of uh, gun season for deer, moving it to the Saturday before the Thanksgiving holiday. Does that that's HB twenty eight uh, eighteen? And maybe you can explain to me the progress you're having there. And I'll tell you the reason why I'm in favor of that is not necessarily as a deer hunter, but as a person who travels the road in the fall. The fewer the deer, the happier I am, Chuck. <laughs> Especially close to the station, huh? And and how? Yes. <laughs> um. That's not going to happen this year. I, I think we need to work on that a little bit. There's some resistance to it. Um, um, uh, DNR, DNR has some issues with it. Um, hopefully, we can work them out. Um, but, but yeah, it, it, it won't it won't be this year. I'm afraid. In fact, our our last our last committee meeting for doing house bills will be tomorrow, and it is not on the agenda. Gotcha. Bill Stubblefield. Yeah, uh, good morning, Chuck. Uh, we've been hearing a lot the last couple of days about form energy. Would you, will you wade in to your thoughts about that? How did I know that would be a question today? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm quite predictable, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was that was literally my toughest vote since I've been down here, and 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 I was on the fence the whole time with that thing. I really was. And I ultimately ended falling on on the, on a yes vote. I liked it slightly better than I disliked it, I guess. Um, and some of the dislikes about it, I, I, I suppose, or um, the uh, you know Bill, being Bill Gates being an inve- investor and uh, and being a woke company, so to speak. Um, I, I don't think neither one of them issues holds too much merit. Although a lot of people, a lot of people really play into it and and i and i guess it's because it becomes emotional and um that's 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 often what is used on on different subjects it it, it try to find something that becomes an emotional aspect but um in, in reality the wokeness i mean everybody's everybody's got a cell phone in their hand or in their pocket is dealing with a woke company um um and 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 so many others i mean all Basically, all of our big corporations now are, are woke to some degree or another. Um, I, I was listening to uh, one of the um, uh, syndicated talk shows uh, from Sunday, uh, and they asked the question, what does woke mean? Well, 
that's, that's, that's kind of a good question. I, 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 I guess I look at it as, as, as I, I'm not quite sure exactly what it means, but, but it seems to fall along the lines of, of, uh, of, of, uh, uh, how in the heck would I describe it? Um, um, of being acceptable of anything, even things that aren't, um, uh, aren't even real i guess to some degree does that make sense not really like, uh, not really it sounds to me like it's a <laughs> it's one of the and i'm not throwing stones at you but i'm throwing stones at a lot of folks we tend to take a stance on issues we do not really understand yes and 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 <laughs> i agree 100 percent and 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 there there was some of that going on with 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 that bill um and the the big thing about the bill and fundamentally i hate it Fundamentally, I hate every one of these deals that we cut with these big companies. Every single one, I hate it fundamentally. But the bottom line is, is it's what we got to do if, if we're going to have these big businesses come to the state and have, have this, this economic growth for the people of the state. Um, and, and, and if I can for pick whatever up, reason, yeah. the, the, the voters turned down Amendment 2, which, which would have been a large part of the fix for what we have to do right now to attract these companies. And our, our surrounding states, Maryland, Maryland has the, these taxes as well, you know, the personal property and the uh, uh, business equipment inventory tax. Maryland has it. From what I can tell, Pennsylvania does not. Ohio does not. Kentucky does have it. However, Kentucky has a tax credit to, uh, I, I guess, get, do away with it for the most part. Virginia also has it. However, they and, and I, I didn't read all of it when I looked it up a few days ago, but Virginia has a lot, an awful lot of exceptions to it. And, and, and what all the exceptions are, I, I honestly can't tell you because I, I didn't read all of it. it. It got to be a pretty long read. But, but Virginia has a lot of exceptions, so I'm, I'm going to guess, you know, they accept a lot of businesses uh, or at least some businesses or at least parts of uh, business property out, out of the taxation. So with that, you know, and West Virginia is hamstrung to begin with, to some degree, by being so mountainous, so hard to find uh, sites to develop. Um, it it be, it becomes a struggle. And then the other thing that we do have now is we've had surpluses to where we've been able to invest some of this money to attract this growth. And and with that said, right now there's four four or five companies. Uh, new corn and I guess form energy would be one as well if that if that continues through uh, 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 pure power watercraft uh, the green energy bus manufacturer um, new core commercial metals we're talking about once once these guys are all up and running we're talking about eight billion dollars a year economical impact in the state of West Virginia yeah, um, you're right, Chuck, but there's another element as well, and there's another list of companies that, uh, at least in the Eastern Panhandle, have been around for quite a while. Uh, uh, Macy's, uh, um, Procter & Gamble, uh, Quad Graphics. These companies not only provide good jobs, they are good neighborhood supporters. They've, they've added a lot to our, our, our community. Yeah, yes, they are, and and, and 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 I just want to point out the only ones I were talking about is the ones that aren't aren't sure. up and running yet. <laughs> I, I, I knew where <laughs> I was aware of. I knew where you're going, um, but I'm okay. John and and and, and, I, and I do know I do know one person that worked at works at Procter and Gamble, and when they went to work there, they went to work at the bottom of the scale. Uh, I don't know, seventeen, eighteen dollars an hour, but benefits the first day that you start, and within two years. This person's like twenty eight dollars an hour in one of their employees that they desperately need to keep there. That's uh, great. So that, that's how quick the advancement can happen. John Gilstrap. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and, and offer a, my definition of wokeness, and I think it's difficult. It's a difficult word to define because the to get deeply into the definition means to offend people who are woke. But to me, it's <laughs> it's it's virtue signaling. Uh, and and shaming above all else. It's it's about um, it, it, it's it's about declaring what is proper for people to do or or not do, and then building your company values around that. And the problem with it is it's only it's only woke if you disagree with with 
the virtue signaling, right? And so, uh, but anyway, moving on from that, what do you? What are the chances of yeah, this? Well, can, you, yeah. can I finish yeah. that sentence? Well, you, you walked. You walked into the edge of it, but yeah. you're not jumping. Well, no, because you know, you, you 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 cross into the line, and then you end up talking about stuff you don't want to talk about. Yeah, but these. If you the irony of that is. If, if you want to define companies as woke and such as what's proper, what's not proper and virtue signaling, what is proper, and if you disagree with me, then, then you're not woke, is then going into a state and then blackmailing them for free tax dollars to move into your state so that hopefully it'll pay off six, seven, eight years down the road by you generating more money than you asked for. Okay, well, if you're that proper, pay your own way in. Don't take money out of my pocket to pay for you to come into the state so hopefully you'll generate more money down the road. If you're going to generate more money down the road, like they're talking about what uh, Delegate Espinosa sent me, they're going to generate you know, so many billion dollars a year. Well, if you're going to generate that much, then why do you need my $290 million? My $290 million should be pocket change to you if you're generating billions a year. Because Ohio has already offered it, perhaps? Or but if, Virginia but, or Maryland but or but somebody else? if you're morally superior to me, then you shouldn't be wanting to take money from me. You're morally superior. Use your own money. I... <laughs> What does that have to do with woke, Rob? Good way, good way to use the woke there, Rob. Well, right? Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever silly little question you were going to ask, go ahead and, and get done. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'll see you back here at 805. <laughs> Not a nice discussion, Chuck. <laughs> Is Chuck still with us? I didn't even know. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, John. Sorry. What are the um, form energy's chances of surviving the Senate? You know, I, I honestly don't know. The, the Senate's a beast of its own, I guess, and uh, who, who who knows what happens over there often. I I I really don't know. I really don't know what to think on it. Being I, I being on the edge, know. being on the, the the edge of a yes or a no, is part of you kind of hoping that, that they take make the problem go away and and don't pass it. Well, no, not really. I mean, my vote was my vote. Um, you know, I'm I'm, I'm not backstepping my vote. I I, I could have voted no, and that would have been. Uh, uh, politically uh, easy vote you know it was going to pass uh, you know the votes were whipped they knew it was passing there was no issue with that um, I could easily said no um, I, I actually felt that it was slightly better than I, I, I slightly liked it more than I disliked it I guess I think that'll sail through the Senate. Yeah, I, I think so, too. They're all about creating, bringing business in and yeah, creating jobs, yeah, and this yeah. apparently does that. Yeah. What do you think about the Senate tax bill, or version of the tax bill, Chuck? Well, uh, you know. Okay, it, you, it, you probably anticipated it, that question as well. Oh uh, Well, I, I sort of did. I mean, it doesn't come as a surprise. Um, um, my, my concern with it, I, I, I mean, I like the idea of the business equipment inventory tax. I mean, I've, I've been no bones about that. I've talked about that when I was campaigning, talked about it before I was even elected. Um, um, so so I, I really like that idea. But my concern is simply this, is the people voted it down. So uh, I, I'm afraid that may look like we're just shoving it down their throat, so to speak, even though they didn't want it. And uh, that, that would be my concern with doing it that way. I just got a text from Ken Apple, local CPA, and uh, he said that the Senate's tax bill in regards to addressing the marriage penalty does not do what they think it's going to do. So there's uh, the first concern we've heard about now, the writing of the language in regards to the Senate's tax plan to address the marriage penalty, which needs to be addressed. Did Ken elaborate? No, but we're going to have Ken on tomorrow for that elaboration. Good. Right? Uh, yeah, and, and, and I have not read, full, read the full Senate version. I kind of skimmed through it and got some of the highlights of what it was doing, and and I got to the section about the business equipment inventory tax. I didn't have much time, and I was skimming through it, and I thought I got to come back and read this because there was there was just a bunch there, and I wasn't fully understanding it when I initially read it. But uh, from what I've seen since, I think Budget Policy Council or somebody sent something out that uh, that it looks like uh, that the, uh, the 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 big corporations and stuff would would also apply. Uh, as far as uh, the business equipment inventory tax, and like I said, I you know I, I'm I'm for getting rid of that, but uh, it was it was kind of built, or at least what I initially saw when the Senate set it over, it was for just small businesses. So, um, like I said, I I got, I got to read it to fully understand it because I have not not actually given it a good read. Chuck, in regards to the use of the 
<clears throat> uh, discretionary funds the governor has that were some of which were used to help finish the baseball stadium or will be finished uh, at Marshall University. The Senate has concerns about that money being used for that purpose. Do you in the House have similar concerns? I've not had, heard much talk about it uh, other than when it was first announced. Uh, I, I know there was uh, there was some uh, uh, heartburn about it in the House amongst different House members. I, I, I didn't care for it myself because of the way it looked like. I, and I don't remember the particulars about it, but, but I do remember when it was first announced, there was some heartburn about that. And... Um, uh, and on, on, on money issues, right now I've got concerns, and, and, and the Forum Energy spent some money, uh, $105 million, I guess, if, if it goes completes through legislation right now. But um, I, I've, got, I've got big concerns right now, and, and, and I'm going to be a hard no on any more supplementary appropriations and possibly even the budget bill un, un, unless or until we have some sort of tax cut figured out for the people. Because uh, I, I just don't want to, I just don't want to squander all this surplus and then come back home and explain to the people why why they didn't get a tax cut. I, I just, uh, I, 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 I have no desire to try to explain why they didn't get a tax cut. Is it looking likely that there will be a tax cut, Chuck, or is it looking less likely? Um, I honestly don't know with what the Senate sent over. I'm not sure what what everybody seems to be feeling about it. I know, I know, there's some heartburn about the Senate's version. Um, so, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not sure where we're going to go with it just yet. I, I just, I don't have a good sense of that just yet. Uh, but, but I do know there's some heartburn. Um, and you know, I, I, I thought the house version was good. I thought just a straight across the board income tax cut was a, was a great thing, but, um, especially after the people voted down amendment two. Well, so pr- pr- I'm, I'm not, I'm, I, I don't know where we're going with it. President Blair would argue that the uh, between the 15 percent tax uh, income tax reduction and the rebate on automobile personal property that there's more of a return to the voters than would be with the original 50 percent tax reduction. And I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I'd have to look at the numbers. Um, I, I have not looked at those numbers. So I, I I don't know. Um, How can I, that? I, I would just. How can that possibly be true if the absolute value of the the house tax cut is 1.4 billion back to the citizenry and if the absolute value of the Senate's plan is 600 million how can one be more value how can the lesser be more valuable than the higher well I, I, I guess I guess you might be able to pick out certain uh, certain households or certain income levels and maybe it might hold true I, I don't know um, but but yes, the house the house tax cut is tremendously bigger than what the Senate version is, is as my understanding. Because my understanding is what you just stated there: the Senate version is six hundred million dollars. Chuck, I've got about a minute and a half left. Anything else you need to make sure the people back here know about in Charleston regarding anything you're working on or anything else that's likely to get through? Well, I'm 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 working on my warrantless search bill still. Um, uh, Talking with the chairman, um, there were some issues with some language in it. We've addressed those issues, and uh, I'm hopeful that he's going to run it maybe as soon as later this week, hopefully. And that bill would forbid warrantless searches of personal property? Well, yes, yes. And, 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 what, and what, what, I'm, what I'm primarily talking about, personal property, your house and curtilage around your house is already uh, exempt from that. But the Open Fields Doctrine from 1924 opened up the rest of your property to search or, or, or whatever. So, um, you know, especially people that have larger properties, you know, five, 10 acres, 20 acres or anything like that, all their property is wide open to be for, for law enforcement, uh, to wander through search if they, if they say please without even any indication of a crime or any reason to, uh, I, so I it, don't know that. It, 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 it aims to fix that. Hmm. So, so, Currently, the way it is, law enforcement can search, you know, if I'm in 30 acres, they can search 20 of them on the outer edge of, of my property, and I don't even have to be notified? Yep. Hmm. Um, now, with that, with that, I do want to say that most police agencies do not do that, mm-hmm. but the big culprit is Department of Natural Resources. They're the ones that really use it all the time. Chuck, on that note, I thank you, sir. Appreciate the work you're doing down there, and we've got to get going, man. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a good. Thanks, Chuck. Take care.